Hello, welcome. Today, I'm going to be reviewing two tablets. The first one is the Huon Canvas 16 Pro 2.5K. The second one is the XP Pen Artist 15.6 Pro. I personally believe that both of these tablets are great choices for beginner to mid-level artists. So for example, uh, hobbyists or students or early professionals and they can also definitely be used for professional work as well. But if you're looking for something as your first screen tablet, these two are definitely ones to consider. So Huon and XP Pen have sent me these, uh, not for a sponsorship, but just for an honest review after testing them out for a bit. So just know that anything I say is gonna be my honest thoughts. Once these boxes came, I was like, wow, they basically designed everything to be the opposite of each other in a way that is both understandable and also like kind of cute. My radar is pinging. My radar is going off. So one thing that I really like about these tablets, obviously I've already unboxed and used them, is that they are a very convenient size and weight and form. Look at how thin this is. Um, as opposed to the tablet I usually use, I usually use the Huon 24 inch, which is this one. <laughs> this is really quite large and also really heavy. It's kind of like too heavy for any monitor arms I try to use on it. And it also takes up a lot of space on a desk. In the last month when I've been using these, I actually got really used to how conveniently sized they are. I was like, wow, I can just like kind of tuck them away if I'm not using them. Um, and it's really quite convenient to free up so much space on the desktop. But with this one, it's like you can't put it away. It's just a permanent installation. And also anytime I want to travel, I have to dedicate an entire like check-in suitcase to this tablet. So I'm like, I'm starting to understand the appeal of smaller tablets. Anyway, this is Huon, but I will not be biased against XP Pen in my review. I will just, I will just be honest. The first point is price. Now Huon is currently, this tablet, the 16 inch Pro is $509 on sale. The XP Pen 15.6 Pro is $258. So this tablet is about half the price of this one. Um, but this tablet is also about twice the age of that one. I think XP Pen just released a new 16 inch tablet that is exactly the same price as this one. Um, so I think that one is supposed to be the direct competitor to this one, but like depending on what you need from your tablet, maybe this one is enough. Um, both these tablets have buttons. I don't use the buttons, so I can't review that aspect too much but I can see how it would be very convenient if you have a laptop instead of like a desktop or something. Um, I've seen artists like cut out stickers to put over these buttons so that they can remember what each one does. I think that's very clever. Um, setup for these tablets is quite easy. They both use basically the same type of setup. They come with a cord that is one side HDMI that you put into your computer and then you need to plug in a USB into a power source that can be either your computer or something attached to an outlet. And if you're gonna attach it to the outlet, that's what this red one is for. And then one big cord to put into the tablet. So these are basically the same kinds of methods here. So for Huon, it comes with this pen. It also comes with this stand and the stand has a bunch of nibs in it. Um, personally, I've never gone through a single nib before my life of drawing for 10 years, but I do appreciate that they have options. XP Pen's pen comes in this case, and the case also comes with nibs. I think both these pens are pretty similar. If I look at the specs online, both of them have uh, like 60 degree tilt support. Both of them have 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity. Both of them have buttons here that you can program. Weight-wise, I would say Huon's is a little bit heavier than XP pens. Huon did send me one of their pens that you can buy additionally if you wanted like a different or more upgraded pen. Um, this one is the Huon Slim Pen PW550S. If I understand correctly, this sort of pen is made for people who are more used to uh, drawing traditionally and prefer a slimmer pen. And this one offers a little bit more responsiveness when it comes to drawing with curves or tilt control. And also this slimmer pen feels more like a pencil, not just because of its size, but also because the nib 
Um, it doesn't go down when you draw. For both of these pens, when you draw, the nib goes down. Like, it wiggles, which may or may not be a plus. I personally never really noticed it before. Well, I do notice it, but it's not a big deal. Like, it doesn't disrupt my drawing experience or anything. But this one, the nib does not move. It feels like a real pen or a real pencil. Hewan's accuracy is pretty good. There's not much of a gap between the pen and the drawing, and there's not too noticeable of a lag. Um, XP pen, the accuracy takes a bit of a hit. I only noticed it because I was trying to write um, in Photoshop. I was trying to make some notes and stuff, and it was really hard to like connect the letters or like make the letters look good. And I was like, okay, this this accuracy thing is kind of taking me out of this experience a bit. That is because there was a bigger gap between the pen tip and the actual drawing, and there was a bit of lag as well. Next aspect is resolution. The Huon is 2.5K, and the XP pen is 1080 HD. To be honest, I don't really see that much of a difference between the two qualities of the screens. The thing to note about the Huon is that since it's 2.5K, the display appears really small. So all the text and icons are really small on Photoshop here. And if you have like vision issues, it might be kind of hard to see. Personally, I kind of enjoy it because it gives me more space to draw, but I can see how the very small UI can become an issue. I think on a Windows computer, you can change it quite easily, but on a Mac, we can change the resolution, but it's just going to make the entire thing a lower resolution. I don't think you can tell, but it's a lot blurrier than before. But the UI is indeed bigger. Um, I'm not sure what the point of getting a 2.5K monitor would be if you do this, though. Since this is 1080 HD instead of 2.5K, the UI is a lot more readable on this one as opposed to Huon. So if you like a more accessible UI, then XP Pen is better for that. And to be honest, I don't really notice that big of a quality difference between 1080 HD and 2.5K. Um, it all feels pretty much the same to me. <laughs> Next aspect is screen texture. So the texture between these two is actually pretty different. The Huon's screen texture is glassy. It's very smooth. I know some people don't like drawing on glassy textures, but the Huon is a bit different. It does feel a bit better than just drawing on straight glass. Whereas the XP Pen screen is the opposite. This is matte. This feels like a paper screen protector that you would put on your iPad. However, the longer that I use these, and I've used these for like three weeks now, the less obvious the textures become. Okay, I'm sure this is what many of you have been waiting for. Let's talk color accuracy. So I pulled up my Spider-Verse fan art. Putting them side by side, I would say this one is definitely more saturated. The reds are more powerful. Okay, so I just looked it up and apparently if you press the power button for three seconds, um, a calibration thing will pop up. Okay, cool. Okay, so this is brightness. What is this? Contrast? This is saturation, so maybe we should just bring the saturation down a little bit. Bring the contrast down a little bit. Okay, I think that's pretty close now. I had to change the contrast and saturation down quite a lot in order to make this match. Here's a comparison with a more blue image with the Avatar teachers. I think this one, the blue, is still a little bit more saturated than this. Okay, that looks more accurate to me. I don't know how much closer we can get. And also everything just depends on the final form of how you're going to do everything. Like now that we've made these two screens match, like 
depending on the final form of how you want to present your thing, like, no matter what, as long as the colors are, like, relatively good with each other, I think you should be fine. And also, even if you're printing it, like, depending on the type of paper you use, the print is going to come out looking completely different. So, color, I don't like thinking about it too hard. Test, color test right out of the default settings. I think it's okay. It's a little bit saturated down here, once again. But other than that, I think it's looking all right. Let's look at the blue one. And here's the blue one. Once again, the warm color is a little bit darker on that one. And the contrast is a little bit higher. The oranges are more powerful. The orangey green shadows is also more powerful. Uh, let's see if we can calibrate this. The color calibration for XP pen is actually in the default settings if you use a Mac. It might be different if you use Windows. But as you can see, this is my iMac. The color profile is currently iMac. I don't really know what that means. Um, this was originally set to Artist 15.6 Pro. I'm just going to change it to match the other one. And that should fix it, I think. Let's check. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Let me turn up the brightness a bit. It's definitely better than it was. Yeah, I think that's pretty much matched now. So yes, that is the color accuracy of XP pen. Okay, from this point forward, informational content is pretty much over. I really hope that if you're looking to buy one of these tablets or just to do some more research that it helped a little bit. My honest opinion on both of these tablets is that they're great. Obviously, in this sort of matchup, the Hue one is going to come out on top because it is newer, it's more expensive. Obviously, it's going to be better than the XP pen. However, there really isn't anything super wrong with the XP pen, so you can definitely use it to do whatever you need to do. Personally, I will keep using this Huon 16 inch because I prefer how it doesn't take up much space on my desk and it basically does the same thing as my 24 inch. That said, I tested these for about two weeks. I did one illustration on both of them. I essentially decided to redesign Huon and XP Pen's mascots into Be Shonen. Like I said very briefly in the beginning of this video, XP Pen and Huon have basically designed their brands to be opposites of each other in a way that's like opposite but compatible, you know? In a way that's very like Naruto and Sasuke, or Gojo and Geto, or Langa and Reki, <laughs> or <laughs> I could keep going forever, you know? I mean, the very fact that Huon's mascot is blue and XP Pen's mascot is red, and one of them is a cat, and the other one is a fox. I'm just like, hmm. I know you probably just wanted me to draw a nice little illustration of, uh, I don't know, Genshin characters, but I need to realize my vision. And my vision is that these two companies are rivals in love. <laughs> I think if there were AO3 tags for them, it would have to be like, alternate universe canon divergence because real life is canon and if i <laughs> need to ship them it would be canon divergence yes and then enemies to lovers i would accept enemies to friends to lovers to be honest or lovers to enemies to friends to lovers you know anything like that you know what they don't even have to fall in love i just need them to acknowledge that something is that there is tension here <laughs> and then slow burn you know, because XP Pen was founded in 2005 and Huon was founded in 2011. It's been like 10, 15 years. They're taking it slow, guys. Next tags are Fluff and Angst and Mutual Pining because I really don't think these companies have anything against each other. It's kind of like a Romeo and Juliet thing, you know, because all is fair in love and war. I like what that one person said <laughs> in the message they sent me about them being heirs to companies that are rivals of each other. Like, the heirs aren't necessarily the ones fighting each other. Okay, also we should probably make a distinction between Huon and XP Pen, the companies, and their mascots, which I'm drawing. Um, their names are Leon and Fenix. 
So yes, they actually do have names. I think if we had a chip name, it would be like Lennox or Fionn or something like that. Okay, here's the concept. The concept is that they are rivals, but then they need to team together in order to beat Wacom. And Wacom doesn't have a mascot. Wacom says, we don't want to have fun. We just want to make money. And so <laughs> these two brands, um, Hyeon and XP Pen, Leon and Phoenix, need to get over their differences and form a team in order to take down Wacom. <laughs> Wow, what a great story. Anyway, the last tags are misunderstandings and jealousy. This is where it gets interesting because I think that you or me as the artist could be a character in this story. Because obviously I'm reviewing these tablets against each other right now, and so it'd be like they're both trying to impress me. So there could be elements of misunderstanding and jealousy. However, I don't want to get in between their relationship. <laughs> this is not a love triangle. I just need them to use me as like a plot device to fuel the drama. Okay, well, I think that's about it. Thank you for listening to my headcanons. When I was drawing these, I was thinking about like the style of art where people draw really pretty boys and they like often have kind of strong lighting and their eyelashes are like all casting shadows on their face and they always have a million eyelashes. Um, as someone who doesn't have that many eyelashes, I guess I never found it very important to draw them, but I realized that drawing good eyelashes and eyes and eyeshadow and just pretty people in general is a skill that I currently could get better at. Um, I think it could be part of my character development to learn how to draw pretty people and also become prettier. Makeup is definitely a skill that I haven't been paying much attention to. That is the end of my review. Kiwan and XP Pen, if you've listened this far, I thank you <laughs> for sending me your products and trusting me to make this video. Please let me know if um, you are in love.